Tui River Cruises has three river cruise ships catering for UK cruisers. Despite being one of the more affordable river cruise options, there is still plenty included in the cruise fare. In this video, I explain what is included on a Tui River Cruise. When you book a Tui River Cruise, your flights are included. This means there's no hassle in finding separate flights for your river cruise. Some other river cruise companies do do this, but it's not as standard or may only be included in special deals. Regional flights may be available depending on where your cruise starts and ends. For our cruise, we had flights from Heathrow, but there were options for Manchester as well. The flights with your Tui River Cruise come with 20 kilograms of luggage allowance, so you'll be able to pack with this in mind. Packing for summer river cruises is easier as clothing is likely to be more lightweight but beware if you've got a Christmas market cruise you just need to pack with that in mind because you're going to have to pack more layers and warm clothing. Tui River Cruises includes airport transfers. When you arrive at your starting destination a Tui River Cruises representative will be there to greet you at the airport and take you to the river cruise by coach or taxi. Some river cruise companies do this and others don't. We took an Amal Waterways river cruise and the airport transfer was included but the flight wasn't. So having your flights and your transfers included is a really good deal. It also gives you peace of mind and prevents extra costs from piling up. Tui River Cruises offers passengers full board plus as standard. This means that breakfast, lunch and dinner are included for the duration of your cruise. It's worth being aware that meals are served at set times on a river cruise, so there's very little you'll find outside of these times. The 24-hour hot drink station have cookie jars, but other than that, food is served during meal times only. Two river cruise ships have two restaurants on board. These are called the Vedastro, which is the main restaurant serving buffet breakfast and an a la carte lunch and dinner, and the Bistro, which offers the same menu as the Vedastro in a more casual setting. As with many other river cruises, drinks are included during mealtime on Tui River ships. During breakfast, tea, coffee and juices are included. At lunch and dinner, passengers can enjoy wine, beer and soft drinks at no extra cost. Any drinks you order outside of mealtimes are charged to your onboard account. You can decide to purchase the all-inclusive drinks package, which costs around £126 per person per week. To decide if you should buy the all-inclusive drinks package with Tui River Cruises, I'd recommend reading my complete guide to drinks and menus with prices, which you can find on my blog, cruiselifestyle.co.uk. I'll leave a link in the description. Another thing that's included in your Tui River Cruise is a barbecue on the top deck. When the weather allows, the crew offer a barbecue on the sun deck, which is deck four, towards the aft. Once a cruise, you can enjoy an afternoon tea, so keep an eye on the daily planner to see when that is. It changes and it could be on a day when you're in port, so it's best to check. Wi-Fi is included on your Tui River Cruise. The beauty of river cruising is that you're never very far from land, so onboard Wi-Fi is far easier to provide. Each cabin has access to one gigabyte of Wi-Fi per week, which is roughly the equivalent of 12 hours of internet browsing, streaming 200 songs or watching two hours of YouTube. If your phone or SIM contract includes roaming in Europe, it's likely you'll be able to use your own allowance even when on the ship because you are close enough to land. Exceptions to this may be in remote areas or when cruising through valleys. Be very careful and check where your roaming allows. We got caught out on our cruise because Serbia was one of the countries we visited but was not included in our roaming. Next up is excursions. On some river cruises with other companies, excursions are included in the cruise fare. This means that the overall cruise package can be pricier. For seven-day river cruises, TUI offers each passenger £120 to use towards excursions on the river cruise. Each excursion is individually priced, so you can use your credit to book several excursions. The total price of excursions you choose is more than £120. You simply pay the difference. Excursions can be booked in advance of the river cruise. I'll leave a link in the description to my step-by-step -step guide on how to book your excursions with Tui River Cruises. Entertainment is included on Tui River Cruises. It's important to know that river cruise entertainment is different to ocean cruises, mainly due to the size of the ships, but you can expect nightly entertainment on board Tui River Cruises. There are quizzes, singers, musicians and local entertainment to enjoy. It's likely that the cruise director will be responsible for the majority of the entertainment on the river cruise. The cruise fare for your Tui River Cruise will include all crew tips and port charges. Tips and port charges are included in the cruise fare, so it's one less thing to think about when you're budgeting for your cruise. It also means that the hard-working crew are rewarded equally for the service provided on board. 
What's clear is that there is plenty included on a Tui River cruise to take the hassle out of organising all the extra add-ons and travel. The whole river cruise experience has a more all-inclusive feel, so once the cruise is paid and the excursions are chosen, there's very little more that needs to be done. Bonus! If you're considering a cruise on Tui River Cruises, I'd recommend you watching this video next.